Hi, I'm Garrett Earls, Director of Sales for Alpha HD Trailers. In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate shimming a flip axle. When you're shimming a flip axle, the whole goal is to make the joint flat. If you need to add weight rearward, you're gonna want it going downhill. If you wanna take weight off of the axle or the attachment, you wanna have a valley. But realistically, the goal is to make it flat. The, the shims are stored on the flip axle itself. You have approximately five shims that you can use and you can use them all in combination with one another. It doesn't have to be just an individual shim. <clears throat> Breaking the joint open is very simple. You have a common air line plugged into the trailer. When you unplug this, it is going to dump the air in the suspension or any of the attachments rearward, opening up the joint. If you need more clearance, you can simply use the hand raised lower valve that the trailer should be equipped with, turn it on, inflate the suspension, and it will give you a greater opening so you can add more shims as needed. So the first thing you're gonna do is, like I said, unplug the common airline. And when you do this, you wanna stay away, in particularly when you go back to plug it in, because it is a pinch point. So as you can see here, the air is dumping out of the flip axle, opening up the joint. There are tabs welded onto the attachment to catch the shim from falling through. Once the desired amount of shim has been placed in the joint, you're gonna reconnect the common airline. As you can see, the joint's gonna close. You wanna steer clear of that. After you've completed this step, and if you have turned on the hand raised lower valve, you want to make sure and turn it back off so your trailer suspension is operating off of the leveling valve. And that is the shimming operation of a flip axle. 